What's up guys? Thank you so much for being here. So today I'm just going to do a quick video on what I think is the best type of handgun for like a new gun owner or new shooter to buy. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So I'm holding an MMP Compact 2.0 chambered in 9mm and the reason why I think this is the best type of handgun, well for one I think the best type of caliber in a handgun for a new gun owner is a 9mm because it's got enough power to like actually defend yourself and actually stop somebody from attacking you um, without having to shoot too many times. I mean, you never know the situation, how big the person is or if they're high on some crazy drug or something. But for the most part, 9mm, the stats have proven that it's a great defensive round. But it's still not like so powerful that it's hard to control. So for one, the, the best caliber for new gun owners and all that is going to be 9mm. And so this gun's chambered in 9mm and it's a polymer gun. So meaning the frame is made out of like this hard plastic um, instead of all steel. And so it makes it a little bit lighter. And the size of this, since it's a compact, it's like the same size as a Glock 19, which is um, one of the most popular carry guns. Now for me, I'm kind of a small guy. And so I like to carry the MMP shield, which I have right here. And these are both unloaded and you can see how small the shield is compared to that. Um, but the thing is with the shield is since it is a lot smaller, it's a little bit harder to control. I mean, it's not like going to jump out of your hands or anything, but if you're a new gun owner and you don't have that much experience shooting guns, then obviously you want something that's going to be a little bit softer on you. And so this is big enough to where it controls the 9mm pretty well and you don't have to like, you're not going to feel too intimidated, um, but it's small enough that if you ever wanted to like carry it in the future, um, which you might want to, you never know, but if you decide you want to get your carry permit, it's small enough that it can still be carried. Now, like I said, I like the shield as my carry gun because it's even smaller, but if I had to carry this, I could do it, but I wouldn't be able to carry anything larger than this because it would for sure print. Printing just means it's it shows through your clothing. It's not something that, that you want to happen. So anyways, the best handgun for new gun owners doesn't have to be the MMP 2.0 Compact chambered in, in 9mm, but it does need to be some kind of 9mm in a compact size, but not like a subcompact like I was talking about. Um, and the reason why this and it, it's a hammerless that's another thing is i think not having a hammer is a little bit simpler for new gun owners because you don't have to worry about like i don't know i think just having an exposed hammer can be a little bit weird for new gun owners because you might not feel as safe with it and here everything's contained on the inside and it's just a little striker you've got safety in the trigger right here it's it's a, like a two part trigger it's hinged and unless both parts, if I just pull on the top part, it won't shoot. So I'll show you. So if I just pull on this top part, it won't shoot. You have to engage the whole thing for it to, for it to shoot. So it's got that safety. It doesn't have any like manual safeties, but um, it's a very safe gun because of all the internal safety, so it's drop safe and all that. You don't have a hammer to worry about. Um, you've got easy reloading. That's another thing. Is this type of gun compared to like a revolver is a lot easier for a new gun owner because a lot of people think revolvers are like, oh, that's the most friendly gun for new gun owners because it's so simple. But honestly, I, I don't really agree with that, obviously. But the reason I don't agree is because for one, you only get like six shots if that, and then when you have to reload, I mean, you have to pop the cylinder open, put the bullets in one at a time, or use like a quick loader. But with one of these guns, you literally just push the magazine release, the magazine just flies out, you don't even have to pull on it, and then you just shove the new one in. And this, this will already be back. The slide will already be back when you run out, and so then you pop that one out, you put this in, you drop the slide, and then you're back in the fight. So, 9mm, not too small of a gun, not too big of a gun, no hammer, so you don't have to worry about that. 
Um, you want something with a good amount of rounds, so this has 15 rounds. And also you've got this rail on the bottom which makes it really easy to attach like a laser or a flashlight which can be really handy, especially if you're using this for home defense and say you hear a bump in the night and so you get up and you go looking and obviously, you know, you're practicing good trigger safety because you don't want to be walking around the house scared with your finger on the trigger and then all of a sudden your relative or family member pops out and you accidentally pull the trigger just because you got scared. So you walk around like this and with the other hand you could have your flashlight engaged because typically they just have a little lever or something. And then when you do finally think you see the person, you flash the light on them and that's going to kind of shock them at first because they're in a dark room and all of a sudden there's a bright light in their face. So they're not even going to be able to see you and now you have a second or two of an advantage to identify who it is and then take them out or like tell them to get out of your house or whatever depending on how strong the threat is. And so it just, it's a good thing to have for home defense. And then a laser as well for people who don't have a lot of experience shooting. Once you have the laser sighted in with your, like with where your gun shoots, then all you do is you engage that laser, you push the button, and you just kind of point the laser at them and shoot. So that makes it really easy too. So we talked about not having a gun that's too small, not having a handgun that's too big. We talked about not having a hammer just so it's one less thing to kind of make you nervous or to worry about. Um, not having a, like a revolver because you don't have very many rounds and it's not as quick to reload. And this has the internal safeties, it has the trigger safety. Um, it's got a rail to attach things. Oh yeah, and one more thing I want to mention is that this gun's very easy to take apart and clean. Um, some handguns are a little bit more complicated, but for example, all you have to do, well, let me just explain. You've got your, this is your takedown lever, and this is your slide lock. It's called that because it locks this top metal part, which is the slide, slides back and forth on the frame. Um, when it when you want to take the gun down, you just have to pull it back and use this to lock it in place. And then, here, I'll show you. So, it's locked into place, because I pushed up on this. And then, all you have to do is pull this lever down. So now it's facing down. Um, drop your magazine, release the slide, pull the trigger, and then go. So since you do have to pull the trigger, obviously you want to double check a bunch of times that you don't have any bullets in there. Even though you drop the magazine, you might have a bullet in the chamber, so just double check. If you're really scared, you can, well, you can do it without pulling the trigger because there's like a little metal piece in here and you can just put that down like through the little hole of the chamber. You can just use something to push that, word, that downward and then it'll slide off without you having to pull the trigger. But anyways, so that's it. That's all you do. And then you've got your spring and your barrel. And that's the whole gun. I mean, this stuff comes out too, but it's you don't have to clean that very often. You're just gonna, I'll, I'll save that for another video, but you're just gonna put some cleaning solutions on this, scrub it, mainly the parts that slide back and forth, and then you put it back together and you're good to go. So super easy to clean. And to put together, drop that in there. And I'll put this. I just recently cleaned it and it's all oiled up, so it's a little greasy, which is good. You don't want to shoot a dry gun. But anyways, and then to put it back on, you just slide this guy back there, hit the slide stop, you push that lever back, and then you're good. So, easy to clean, holds a lot of bullets, easy to function, that doesn't make any sense, but it, it functions easily, there's, there's not much to it. Um, yeah guys, it's versatile with the rail and all that. Um, they actually make lots of attach, like, not attachments, but they make lots of upgraded parts for this type of gun, because it's common. Um, same thing if you were to buy a Glock, you could easily get a new trigger and drop that in. Um, you could easily get new sights. That's another thing is some small, small guns, they don't have replaceable iron sights. My shield does, but a lot of them don't. 
And so that's another thing. This one has replaceable sights, so if you didn't like it, you can get a different one and just pop the, pop these off and then put the new ones on. Luckily, this gun comes with good ones. Sometimes Glocks come with just polymer sights, and they're kind of not that good. But anyways, that's just my opinion. I'm sure there's people out there who love them. But anyways, oh, that's another thing. This one comes with a great grip. Um, it's called, well, they call this stippling, where... It's just like a stippled grip, so it's just extra aggressive versus like my shield. It's the old model of the shield, so it doesn't have that. If you were to buy a new shield, it would have that nice new texture. So this one's a little bit too smooth, in my opinion. I might get it stippled eventually, but this one comes with that, that stippled feel to it, and so it really like locks into your hand, because when you shoot, you don't want it you know, moving around too much. And so, yeah, this gun's good to go, guys. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, that's my opinion on the best type of handgun for new gun owners. Now, if you guys think there's like, I don't know, if you have a different opinion, definitely let me know in the comments. Or if you think there's like a different type of gun, like a different specific gun than this, let me know in the comments as well because I'm sure there's going to be other people reading through that. And they might like the idea, but they might want, you know, some more options or whatever. So definitely let me know in the comments. And other than that, I mean, just thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or if you want to stick around for more gun content in the future. And that's it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.